For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem in which you have to determine the magnitude of the force F so that the resultant force in between the three is at its uh, minimum. Let me put this on here. Alright, so what you gotta remember is that whenever you have a function, say you have this function, right? Let's say it's like that. And it keeps going that way. Let's keep going this way. So this is a local maximum and this is what's called a local minimum. To find these values, these two values, what you're gonna need uh, is to do the derivative. This is f of x. What you do is you do the derivative of f of x and when you get the derivative you set it equal to zero. When you set it equal to zero you're gonna get the lo this value, the local uh, minimum and the local maximum. Now if you think about it, the function of what it is, the uh, resultant uh, force over the force will be what we have here. It will look something like this because the force will come at a minimum and then as it keeps increasing or decreasing it will come at a it will keep going and going again to infinity so what we're trying to find is this minimum right here and we're gonna do so by writing a function of f of r in terms of the force f and then taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero so to do so we're gonna divide the forces into let's say force one force 2 and force 3 so we got force 1 force 1 is 8k let's keep the case for now 8 in the positive y direction force 2 is negative 14k uh, skipping the case cosine of 30 in the i direction plus 14 sine of 30 in the j direction. Force 3, which is the force that we're trying to find, is negative f because it's going towards the negative x direction, cosine of 45 in the i direction, minus f sine of 45 in the j direction. So when you add this 3 up, you're gonna get the resultant force and the resultant force will be equal to when you calculate all this negative 0.707 negative 4.124 in the i direction plus negative 0.707 plus 7 in the positive j direction but you know that f of r squared is equal to the x component plus the y component this being the x component and this being the y component so when you plug them in you're gonna get that f of r squared is equal to negative 0 0.707 minus 4.124 squared plus negative 0 0.707 plus 7 squared when you calculate all this, you're going to get that f of r squared is equal to f squared minus 4.067f plus 66. Now, as I told you before, as you can see, we have f of r and f. Basically, we have f of r as a function of f. So what you're going to do, let me go right here, you see you're going to take the derivative of the function with respect to f and you're going to get that the derivative is equal to 2f minus 4.067. And remember, you got to set it equal to 0 to find the local maxima minima and in this case there's only a minima. Which means that f is equal to 2.034 and remember we're in case because we're in kilonewtons kilonewtons that's what f has to be for f of r to be at a minimum final answer 